Next week, Harper is still keeping her options open, but is having a particularly tough time with morning sickness. When Xander invites Dana to lunch, she makes an excuse so she can head home with Harper. Xander in turn offers to make lunch at the beach house, an offer Dana cannot refuse. Harper has that morning received a lot of pregnancy-related supplements from the chemist, and when Dana accidentally knocks Harper's bag off the kitchen counter, Xander spots a bottle of folic acid tablets. Without thinking, Dana covers for Harper by saying they're her own, claiming that she's just trying to be healthy with all her night shifts and lifeguarding duties. When the three later head to Salt and Xander starts his shift, Harper explains to Dana that she's still unsure as to whether she wants to bring a child into the world, particularly after their own tough upbringing with their addict parents. Dana decides that, in solidarity with her big sis, she's going to go alcohol-free for the entire day. And so when Xander brings over their usual order of two red wines, Dana declares that they're on a detox and would prefer two OJs. That evening, knowing that Dana would have her back if Tane for any reason decided he wanted nothing to do with the baby, Harper makes her decision. She's going to keep the baby. Dana is ecstatic, though as they start to list through the things to look forward to, morning sickness only being the beginning, little do they realize that Xander is clearing a nearby table and hearing every word. Suddenly the day's events all make sense to him, and as he later stands shell-shocked behind the bar, he tells Rose, Kirsty Marillier, that he's going to be a dad. 